my channel. So today I am doing a requested video which is all about um, recommended perfume gifts for men, aftershave gifts for men. If you're new here then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfume so do subscribe if you're a perfume fan like me. I have new videos every week and at the moment I'm doing a little series all about different Christmas things. So if you're looking for a gift for a brother, relative, dad, friend, male friend, then keep watching because I'm going to cover lots of different types of gifts for men. So first thing to say before we go into the perfumes is um, some confusion I think comes about when it comes to different types of men's perfumes. So a lot of people talk about aftershave as if that is the uh, same word as like a male fragrance. Aftershave is actually when you have a bottle without any spray, it's just an open lid and you pour the liquid out in your hands and then you're meant, the men are meant to put it on after they've shaved, hence aftershave. So sometimes you'll see bottles like Chanel do an aftershave of all their perfumes and they're much cheaper um, but that's why so if you get that it is going to be like that and some men do actually want that that's how they want to apply it um, but it's not the same as one with a spray. The sprays will be eau de toilettes or eau de parfums or sometimes they're called colognes or eau de cologne um, but if it's called aftershave then it does not have a spray. So my first recommendation is the classic Izzy Miyake Eau de Izzy Pour Homme. This, both the male and the female, are amazing for lasting. This is a kind of fresh citrusy, but also slightly aromatic as well. So it's not just citrus, um, but it really does last all day. People I know that wear this, men that wear this, you can really smell it on them. It becomes their signature scent. And I always recommend this for men because it really is such good value for money. You don't need to be spraying loads um, and you get a good like bang for your buck, it's gonna last all day. They have more recently brought out a woody version called Wood and Wood, and I have this here um, for as a gift, so I don't want to unwrap it to show you, but this is actually an Eau de Parfum Intense, so this is a uh, stronger and obviously more woody version. I think this is nice in the winter, it's a bit warmer, a bit spicier, and with it being an intense Eau de Parfum, it's heavier and stronger, so if perhaps you're looking for something for a man that's really deep and wintry then this would be a really lovely option and um, but if you want something a little bit more um, mainstream but more fresher than original Loda Izzy you can't really go wrong with it great value for money my next recommendation and this is perhaps for someone um, who's quite sporty or someone who likes quite um quite fresh or quite sort of trendy perfume so diesel only the brave and I think this is probably marketed at a sort of younger 20s maybe even teenage market this original has been out for quite a while it sells quite well it obviously has this very distinctive fish shape and it's quite a fresh um, fragrance it's the kind of thing that a man could really spray on after they've just had a shower or they've been playing sport or whatever and it would really give you that fresh vibe and um, so this is very much a sort of yeah f sporty fresh scent they also they have a number of different versions but they I particularly like Diesel Spirit of the Brave which is the gold fist again I have this as a present this is a bit more heavier it has a cool like tiger on it um, and this is like again a bit more woody a bit more aromatic so perhaps more evening more winter more heavier so it if you think someone's gonna like the gold and like something a bit blingy, likes the fist, but doesn't want something that's like daytime fresh, something that's a bit more like nighttime, like you could definitely wear this out to a bar or a club and people will be able to smell it on you. And yeah, it's just a bit more different, a bit more special, but gold isn't for everyone. So the original Only the Brave is always your safest bet, I think. My next recommendations are from Hugo Boss. So I think the Hugo Boss perfumes are are really classy and um, it's such a classy British brand and they're really good value for money as well you can even get some of these in a 200 mil and it's only like 10 pounds more than the 100 mil so the original boss bottled is kind of like a woody vanilla -y, freshy one it's not it's quite sort of typical you definitely would have smelled this on people it's so popular it kind of smells like a typical men's cologne if that makes sense like it's very it's hard to dislike it does have that bit of vanilla in so um it's not massively 
woody and it's not massively fresh it's kind of like a mixture of everything so it just comes across it just smells manly i think i really like the boss bottle of night the blue one this is a little bit more um powdery musky night timey it has a little bit of spice in and it also has a nice leather in so it's a bit warmer so i prefer this and you can usually get these in really nice gift sets at, especially at christmas time with free products in and of always guys the links will be down below to where you can get all these i I also think that Boss Orange for men is probably one of the safest gifts you can get if you perhaps don't know someone that well or don't really know their taste in um, perfumes and colognes then Boss Orange is really fresh, really simple and it's nearly always reduced, it's always really cheap for a full size 100ml you could be paying like maybe £30, like really good value for money um, and I just think it, if you're looking for something fresh and easy going then Boss Orange is such a bargain. So next recommendation is Dior's Sauvage which has Donny Jeff Donny Depp as the face of the fragrance. There are a whole bunch of different flankers of this now and I believe that this is the best selling perfume at the moment. I know so many people that have this, like it seems to be like very much on trend, um, all the men seem to have it, and um, particularly sort of office workers and stuff. Um, it is a nice classy smell, it's kind of like a fresh spiciness, a little bit aromatic, um, but a little bit warm, very good for the office I think, quite a professional professional smell like very like manly but very professional and then you've got different versions like you can mix it up and get like the intense version to wear at night time the price point on these is going to be higher than the others Dior is an expensive brand um, but still nowhere near as high as the female perfumes hashtag sexism um, if you know someone that likes their brands and um, perhaps an office worker then get them Dior Sauvage because it's like quite well known I think and definitely is a, a nice classy good Christmas present. My next recommendation is Coach for Men which you can get at really reasonable prices so if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper um, then perhaps this could be a good option particularly the smaller size. This is an aromatic fresh citrus um, again very sort of daytime and fresh it's an eau de toilette not an eau de parfum. It has some like pear and some bergamot in so a little bit fruity I think this would work well for someone younger or perhaps someone that didn't want something super strong um, but quite a safe one I think and good value for money and then my final recommendation is Armani Code this is a classic it's been out for a long time and as a result you'll be able to get this at some quite good price points essentially this is like a sweet balsamic citrusy aromatic -y smell and um, it really reminds me of um, like something that you will have smelled on people quite a lot it's a very typical male scent and but I think it's a bit sweeter like perhaps people don't if someone doesn't want to be really spicy see really aromatic and intense then this is like a bit on the lighter fresher side but a bit sweeter so it's softer and warmer and um there's the sport version as well which is really fresh um but i think you know armani code is probably even if someone doesn't know anything about fragrance they've probably still heard of armani code so it's quite a good way to get like a well-known trusted brand but because it's been out for a while you can get it at a good price so that's my rundown of um, male fragrance gift ideas. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you have um, be getting any of these or what you usually get as a gift. Of course, there's so many others out there. These are not just the only ones, but these are my recommendations for this year. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you again in my next Christmas video. But thanks so much for watching and bye for now.